So Mr. Facts Over Feelings and, you know, Mr. Individual Liberties, Ben Shapiro, is once again all up in his feelings because someone else is using their individual liberties in a way that he doesn't like. I'm sure many of you saw that Harry Styles wore a dress in a photo shoot for Vogue. This is in no possible way a big deal. Um, and Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro are, are all upset about it. The same people who love to portray the left as the overreactive snowflakes who can't deal with other people living their life in the way that they want to live their life and all this whatever. They're now freaking out and getting all upset because Harry Styles wore a dress in a photo shoot. Right? So Candace Owens tweets out that societies need masculine men, strong men, and Ben Shapiro agreeing with this and then getting all emotional about it. So <laughs> we'll watch a little clip here that I have, and, uh, and then we'll come back, and I will, to put it as arrogantly as he does, own Ben with facts and logic. Right, but what we are seeing with the Vogue article is not just an attempt to be transgressive, obviously. It's an attempt to redefine masculinity itself. I mean, this is overt in the article. I'm not making it up. I already read you the segments from the Vogue magazine article. Okay, so my friend Candace Owens tweets out, quote, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. Boys ought to be allowed to act like boys. Girls ought to be allowed to act like girls. Boys are taught to be more masculine in virtually every human culture. This is not a Western-centered thing. Boys are taught to be more masculine in virtually every human culture because the role of men is not, in fact, always the same as the role of women. There can be crossover. Men and women can do very many of the same jobs. But to suggest that men and women are identical and they are widgets created by social conditioning is just bullcrap. It is not true. It is not scientifically true. It is, it is a violation of actual scientific biology. There are differences between men and women on the broad range. So obviously, guys, that was just a couple clips. He went on and on about that for a while. I almost don't even know where to start. It's just so ridiculous what he's saying. He contradicts himself all over the place, right? He says, okay, he says, "There's, I'm fine with some overlap. Some men can act more like women and some women can act more like men. Okay, Ben, then why the fuck are you upset? Why can't Harry Styles be the overlap? <laughs> See how he takes one photo shoot and he blows it into this, like, cultural conspiracy that the left is using vogue to try to redefine masculinity like what what oh uh, and i i also just want to point out you guys that like it, it's it's it comes from a place of insecurity to care about that in the first place you know what the most secure masculine guy would say if you will to you know to go with ben's framing you know what the most secure guy would say? He'd say, I don't give a shit how somebody else dresses. Why would that bother me? But Ben gets all in his feelings about it, gets all insecure about, oh my God. <laughs> it's just so pathetic. Holy shit. So pathetic. What, so to, to Candace and Ben... Harry Styles, like, represents the entirety of American culture. Candace says societies need masculinity. So what? So Harry Styles doing one photo shoot in a dress, just like, like, David Bowie did and Prince did, and right? Doing one photo shoot in a dress is representative of the entire country moving in a direction away from masculinity. Like, what? Candace Owens thinks there aren't men out there who feel more masculine or dress more masculine or act more masculine. Like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Completely baseless and ridiculous from the get-go. So, anyhow. I just wanted to cover this to point out what an absolute fraud Ben Shapiro is. I have no idea if he knows he's a fraud or not. But Ben is articulate and he talks fast and he has enough references that people tend to treat him like he is some sort of goddamn genius. And Ben is not a genius. Most everything that Ben says is a straw man or is verifiably untrue or it's this kind of cultural emotional nonsense that completely contradicts the views he claims to hold. He's, he's, he's a goddamn clown and if you take Ben Shapiro seriously I just want to urge you please stop taking Ben Shapiro seriously